It's about hills, and it's been about valleys as well. The Dauphiné, stage four, and the time trial. Something that has to be mastered if you want to be a Grand Tour contender. And in this race, it very much feels like a mini Grand Tour. Through Mars with a headwind, turning from Saint-Denis de Cabane to Belmont de la Loire. Climbing out of the back door, a tough test as well, especially on a time trial bike. And the final ramp, Rémy Cavagna described as hell on earth. Well, he was the first real benchmark with a 37.55 finish time, taking 35 seconds off those who'd ridden before. Well, that looked potentially good enough to win. A few of the GC contenders were starting to test around that mark. Danny Martinez good enough for fourth place at that point on the day. Well, David Godou is not a time trialist, gave it his best shot and had to. Other Grand Tour contenders and maybe title contenders here before the race began, such as Mikkel Lander, were finding this to be a very tough day indeed. Mikkel Bjerg, three times an under-23 time trialling world champion, never had a professional win to his name as a senior. Well, he absolutely went for it. Brilliance at work, but would it be good enough? 37-28 certainly looked like it. All eyes then were on another Dane in the form of Jonas Vingugo. Could he eat into his compatriots' gap? Well, UE Team Emirates have really transformed themselves as a time trialing unit. And Adam Yates himself getting a virtual podium at that point. They can be absolutely delighted with their focus on the discipline. So can Jai Hindley and Ben O'Connor, both of whom really announced themselves as contenders in this race as the high ground approaches at the weekend. Finger go, set off. A man determined. You can see out of the start house he was already sprinting. And throughout all of the time checks, he very much looked like he was in control. And then on the final ramps, it slipped from his grasp. Went the way of Biao. Not only that, also the yellow jersey. Finger go, second quickest on the day. And second overall behind his compatriot from UAE Team Emirates. Well, this was a day of digging deep. Felix Grosshartner reminding us of just what a quality athlete he is and yet again underscoring once again. UAE Team Emirates credentials. Fred Wright spectacular. He's right back in the frame as well. Christoph Laporte wearing the yellow skin suit knew only too well that he would be handing that over the lead of this race to somebody else. Biel couldn't quite believe it. That it was only when the clock went red against Laporte that the hugs and the tears began. Creditable performance by Laporte. He knew that this day would be his last in yellow. He'd hoped to give it to Jonas Vingago within Jumbo Team Visma. But no, it has gone to UE Team Emirates and this man. Well, time trialling is tough. You leave everything behind, but Biao was brilliant today. 12 seconds in front of Jonas Vingago. Danes 1 and 2. Cavania, Wright, O'Connor, Grosshartner, Harrogots, the youngster, Adam Yates with a spectacular performance. But really, it's about this man. And maybe a pivotal day for him. His first win as a senior. And just look at this. 12 seconds margin over Vingago. He's expected to win this race or certainly be one of the favourites as we head for the mountains. O'Connor, though, and Fred Wright will be stepping at his heels. Gross Hartler now believes Harrogots, why not? The man who led the young riders classification before we came to this day. Well, he's still a young man and indeed leads in white, but it's yellow he's concerned about. Piao is our leader. UE Team Emirates, absolutely cock a hoop. And this is what we have tomorrow. After the time trial, well, a gentle start with a flat terrain before we go on a looped course finding the higher ground to complete 191 kilometers destination Saline Les Bains. One for the breakaway? Surely. And then the high ground still to come with the mighty mountains of the weekend. The Dauphiné is amazing and so is its current leader Biao.